over 35 years, the Ixai Group has focused on empowering Indian students through superior academic delivery. How is it that this university achieves excellence in teaching and research? Number one, socially relevant curriculum. The curriculum should be relevant to what is happening in the society, uh, what is happening in the economy, and that should be linked to what's happening in the classroom. Number two is student-centric delivery. Number three, it's a continuous evaluation. It's not just one final examination and then uh, the student is evaluated. So that ensures the student to be regular to the class from day one. And I want to tell you, there is zero tolerance for any cancellation of the class. Really, throughout the year, classes are conducted regularly and punctually. It starts on time and ends on time. And that brings in a sense of seriousness and discipline on the part of the students. The mark of its educational excellence has been the ability to adapt to changing environments and stay connected to its students. Ikfai has always been much ahead of its time. We started our focus on the uh, learning management system that we call Quickfi. So it is built on Quickforce. In that learning management system, we, we started using some cases uh, online uh, in the asynchronous mode. And uh, at that time, there were not online classes all the time but uh, LMS could be used for supplementing all the learning. Now we have come to a situation where uh, there is no other alternative. So because we have started out early, that is right in 2010 and, two, and implemented it in 2000, early 2011, uh, we were much ahead of the curve in many of those things, particularly in uh, using the case method as a, as a teaching tool in the online mode. significant contribution to inculcate research and an analytical orientation in students of ICFI comes from the ICFI Case Research Center, which has won several international accolades for its unique pedagogy. We wanted our students to not only know the knowledge, but also the relevant skills, um, skills they have to imbibe in themselves, which will prepare them for not only the industry, but also for their future. So that is why there was this focus on the case method. And uh, very soon we realized that there are not too many uh, institutes in the world that are coming up with quality case studies. And uh, almost there was no one in India. So our founder, late Professor NJ Yashashvi say, said to us that, you know, this is, this is what we are going to do. We will not only teach with the case method, but we will also develop the case studies, which will not only be taught in our school, but also in schools all over the world. As of now, if you see, we are one of the top five uh, case publishing schools in the world. So there are very few people who are ahead of us. And definitely in terms of case studies develop, as well as in terms of the awards won, uh, that is international awards, which, which are very tightly contested, as well as the bestsellers that are coming out in the, in the market, we are very much in the top. Like if you see uh, last year itself, last year we were, we, we, in terms of best-selling cases, we were just next to Harvard. This shows how the quality initiative, case initiatives have been developed in, in uh, ICFI Business School. And uh, definitely there are no uh, institutes outside of the uh, North America or, or uh, Europe who have that many accolades in uh, case method. In continuing to bridge the gap between academia and industry for its students, the ICFI Foundation for Higher Education in Hyderabad has a future-ready vision to sustain and persevere. All the things that are being told by WHO and the local government, we are taking care of. So that is one part. The other part is how do we see that the curriculum and everything are also in place. For that, there are no concerns. So there are no concerns. So we'll have have a blend of online as well as offline interventions. So even when the students are ready to come and the government allows the students to come back to the campuses, we are ready for them. We always talk about uh, the infrastructure and things like that. But without the students, that vibrancy that is there in our campus is always missing. So there is a need at this point of time that the we be separated for our students 
but uh, we we so much eagerly wait to see the back of this uh, pandemic how we can take up all the precautions and welcome our students back for the last three and a half decades ICFI has been pioneering professional education in this country we have been able to establish about 11 universities across the country nine business schools seven tech schools seven law schools all in all we have about 17 campuses in 20 cities the ICFI group transforming young Indian minds into tomorrow's leaders. When we come back, we 